Hey guys, guess who it is? Guess who? Is it me, Country Cat? No, it's Mrs. Gillardy. Mrs. Gillardy, I had my hat and I had my cat mask. So I had two of my ass with me today. All right, so I just wanted to say, I'm so excited this week. It's so fun getting into the at chunks. Um, so far, we talked yesterday about how um, at is two letters. A, what letter is that? Hmm. A, right, right. At, t, t. Yeah, you got it. So A and T together make that at sound. And that chunk, when you see it in a word, it's going to be so much easier to read because you're going to recognize it and you're going to say, I know that. That's A T. That's at. All right. So today we have another activity that revolves around at. This one is another activity where you're going to be picking up your pencil. First thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and write my name and I disappeared my paper. Where did it go? There it goes. Oh, my cat stole it. All right. So here's the paper that you're going to be working with today. And it says words with at at the top. And basically the directions for this are pretty easy. You're going to be um, filling in the blanks. Now there's two ways to do this. There's the first way is the, you know, the easy way. And, and I think you're all gonna take advantage of that, but then I wanted to challenge you after that. Okay, so the first way is to look at the picture and say, hmm, I wonder what that picture is. Hmm, you know what that picture is? Well, once you do know what that picture is, you might say, hmm, that looks like a, hmm, Okay, so you might say that picture looks like a cat. So I'm going to find the word in the word bank. Now, I'm not gonna show you the word because that would be too easy. I don't wanna do it for you. You can do this all by yourself. Okay, so you're gonna find the word cat that goes with the picture and you're going to write it on the line. Now, as soon as you're done writing it on the line, guess what's easy to do? Cross the word out. That way you won't use it again because you're only going to use each word one time. If you use the same word two times, uh -uh, you must be doing something wrong because there's nothing on this page that you're going to write two times. Okay, now the second part of this paper is a challenge because I know you'll be able to figure out the words and figure out where to find them and write them on the line. Now, the challenging part is Try to read the sentence when you're done filling it out. Now, this one has everyone is a um, sight word that Mrs. Summers has taught us, right? I see a black, hmm. I think every one of those words wasn't a, a word that was a sight word. So you can figure that out. The next sentence is not all sight words that we know. And that's the part that's going to be the challenge. You're going to recognize a couple words, but then the others, you're going to have to sound out. Now, Mrs. Bavona has been teaching you about writing and sounding out words, stretching them out like a snake. Stretch that word out. So, so um, what you're going to do is look at the words that you don't know and sound it out. Find the first letter and say, Hmm, what sound does that make? Hmm, then make that sound, then make the next sound, then make the next sound, and then you're gonna put them together and make a word. Do the best that you can trying, okay? So remember, there's two ways to do this. Try that challenge when you're done, okay? Now, if you had a chance to look around our phonics room, uh, you're gonna click on the video, The Cat Sat. That's our video for today, and it's a real fun one, and I highly recommend it. And um, if you get a chance, click over on my computer monitor in my um, phonics room and click on that uh, Fast Phonics. Fast Phonics is a great program. It's made by the same people who made Reading Eggs and Math Seeds. And I know that you have used those before, maybe in the library or last year, but um, you have a password and you have a login name. And guess what? You're going to start at the very beginning. So I think you're going to be able to go really fast through these. These are really ch um, challenging, but uh, first grade appropriate activities. So you'll be able to do it. I know you can. You're going to, you're going to knock my socks off, I bet. So you're going to go in there 
you'll put in your login name, you'll put in your password, and it's going to start you off with the sounds that we learned the last few weeks. And you'll be looking for the letters that match the sound. What? I know that you can do that. You guys were awesome at the letters of the alphabet. So I look forward to seeing your progress on um, Fast Phonics. And I look forward to seeing you again on Thursday. I'll see you back in the phonics room on Thursday. So guess what friend I'll be bringing with me on Thursday? You'll have to wait and see. Have a great day and enjoy your phonics.